Hello there, Dominic here and today I'm going to introduce you to the Loop Slice tool in Modal. It's on the Mesh Edit tab, Loop Slice. So f f in order to make it work, first make a selection and press Alt-C to invoke Loop Slice and click in the viewport. I'm going to first reset my tool to its default state and now you see it has loop sliced around my selection. So over here you see a bar. I can click on that triangle icon and drag to set the percentage of my slice or I can click in the viewport, click and drag and set it interactively. This is when I am in move mode. In add mode I can click on that bar and add slices. But be careful, you can't edit the slices in add mode. You only can in move mode. So back to move and now I can move them slices in that bar. Or when this slice is selected I can also click in the viewport and drag. Or if I want to move this one, click on it and click and drag in the viewport. Or click on this slider. Or go to the loop slice slider and set it manually over here. So right now you can see it's 63.5%. I can set it for instance to 0.6 manually and now you see 60%. So you can set the position in the loop slice slider. These other settings for the loop slice slider are for visu uh, how to visualize that bar. Right now the length is set to 200. I can set it to for instance 500 and now I have a longer bar is interesting if you want if you have a lot of slices this is for positioning in x and y so if i want to draw my slider in the middle of my viewport i could say for instance uh, 500 in x and 500 in y but that's not very useful so i'm going to leave it at default 20 and default 50 oh, 50 like that but the length of the loop slice slider bar, that's interesting if you have a lot of sliders. And also the position is to set manually where I want the, s the slices to be, so 0.4. I can also toggle the slices over here, so it's an array, so it starts at zero. Zero is my first one, one is my second one, and you see over here the next one being selected. S my uh, three is my fourth one, four is my fifth one, like that. Um, mode to free. So right now it's set to free. If I click and haul in the viewport, it will. That means that my last one. That, 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 that the one that is being selected is being positioned or I can drag over here I can set the mode to uniform now all slices are uniform and now clicking and dragging in the viewport has no effect because well it's set to uniform or I can set it to symmetry and now when I click and drag you see the symmetrical one also being adjusted because it's set to, sim uh, to symmetry if I select this one and click and drag you see this one being also adjusted because I'm in symmetry mode so going back to free uh, currents I've explained count five uh, so you can add slices over here but you can also say well just click on this slider and it will add slices uh, when this is not uniform and I haven't set the mode to uniform I can click on this button to make them uniform but since I am still in free mode and this one is selected when I click and haul this one gets repositioned so this is interesting because when you're in uniform mode I cannot click and drag to reposition that one let's say I want all of them to be uniform but not that one in uniform mode I cannot do that in free mode I can click uniform they all uniform and select one that you want to move and the rest stays uniform okay slice selected 
only slices the selection pretty straightforward when slice selection selected is checked i can check keep quads this, this will force modo wherever necessary to uh, keep this, the, 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 the slicing all quads uh, haven't really experienced anything with that yet slice and gone uh, going to first make an end gone so i'm pressing c for the edge slice tool click on this uh, edge and click on that edge to make a slice and drop the tool so now i have two end guns right now if i select these two press alt c for loop slice and i'm going to first reset the tool to have less cuts you see that this end gun and this end gun do not get sliced so what if i want a slice going through this polygon all the way through well go, i've dropped my tool going to control z to undo so i make my selection then press l for loop and of course it will not select these end guns so i'm going to shift click on these polygons to close the loop again press alt c for my loop slice click in the viewport to activate the tool right now it's not what I want, I want the slice to go all the way through so I check slice selected and with slice selected on you see now I have a complete loop slice so in other words I will repeat it I have an end gun if I want to slice that end gun with loop slice I first have to make a selection like I did previous in the previous example it was a complete loop but you don't have to make a complete loop I can do another selection like that press Alt C to invoke loop slice click in the viewport and since my previous settings are still there right now you see the end gun has been selected well my my whole selection has been loop sliced like that so I'm going to drop the tool again Alt C so I'm going to uncheck slice selected so slice end gun if you want to slice end guns you have to do what I showed you previously reverse direction reverse insert and keep aspects that's a core that's for profiles I'm going to show that later but first I'm going to show you preserve curvature right now when you make a slice I'm going to set a count to two you see that there is no curvature over here it's straight with preserve curvature on you see that the curvature is being that, that there is uh, a, a curvature now sorry about that um, but I have to check something okay I'm back sorry about that so uh, without preserve curvature the loop slicing will result in a straight fashion as if you will with preserve curvature on you see the curvature is being preserved and I can adjust the tension when I set it to zero it will go back to th straight when I set it to one you see my curvature is there I can go higher like that and I will get more tension and at cer a certain point the polygons will start to overlap or I can set it to straighter like that so usually a tension between 0 and 1 is what you want now inset I'm not going to show you this because when playing around with inset I get a humongous number of crashes so um, I'm going to submit a, bu a bug report about that inset is extremely buggy what does this do well I'm going to drop the tool and show you manually well if I in edge mode double click on that edge to select the complete edge loop with inset I can scale the slices so if I set um, an inset it will do that if I set a negative inset it will do that and I can set that for all my slices so if I have I'll see two slices I can select this one by clicking on it or setting the, the, the current to zero and then give it an inset manually and then for the other slice 
again select it over there or set current to 1 and then again give it an inset but when playing around with it I get a lot of crashes it also often does not get accepted the inset then you have to first activate slice selected and deactivate slice selected anyway it's buggy so you can try the setting the inset yourself but personally I get a lot of crashes uh, the loop slice slider, uh, did I tell you about that one already? Uh, <laughs> I've forgotten actually, so over here I can set the position of the slices, so if I want to set the position manually of this one without dragging, I can select it by clicking on it, and then set for instance point 0.2 now, oh sorry about that, point 0.2, ah, my mode is set to uniform, I have to set it to 3, so point 0.2, and now you see the first one is set at 20%, this one 0.8, so to set them numerically you can do that in position. Length is my the length of my bar up here and slider X and slider Y is my placement in the viewport, so I can set that in the middle of my viewport but I'm going to leave that at 2050 which is over here. And then a profile. Uh, right now the tool is uh, still active. I'm going to uncheck Preserve Curvature, uh, set the mode to Uniform, maybe no, to 3 and the count just at 1 and going to select a profile. So with the count at 1, usually the profile is actually OK. When my count was at is at 2, you see I can adjust my count with a profile, but that right now I don't have enough slices to really represent my profile efficiently, so I have to increase my count, or if I want it at a kind of default state, I just set it to 1 and then I have my profile over there. With profiles I can reverse the direction, like that, like you see in the viewport, or I can reverse the insets, parts that are pushed in will be pushed out and vice versa. And keep aspect is something I don't play around with much. Uh, usually when you use a profile you'll want it to be checked. So reverse inset, keep aspect. Keep aspect is not something that I use when using a profile, reverse direction and reverse inset, okay, like that. So I think I've covered most of what I wanted to cover with the loop slice, a very powerful tool, uh, of often many people don't use all the possibilities over here, so I wanted to show you that you, that you can move, add and remove, that you can set it to different modes, different way of selecting, using a profile, all of that, setting it your positions manually in the loop slice slider, um, preserving the curvature, and even giving it an inset, but I don't mess around with it because it's very buggy. Hope you found it useful. This was Dominic. Bye for now.